everyone, welcome to another video for SimonSaysStamp.com. Today I'm going to be using quite a few products that are exclusive to Simon Says Stamp, including the full, hexacard, full card hexagon die, which you see up on the left side. And then these two white pieces are actually from one die. It's from the two tier tiered banner die. And you cut it twice and then you can glue it together to create a banner that has two spaces for stamping. So I've um, unfolded the first one and it always helps to take the spaces that already have the score lines on them and just accentuate them with a, with a score tool or with like a stylus. So that's what I did. And then I folded them and I'm just showing how they go together that the center panel in the middle, that's where you're gonna add some adhesive and glue them together. It helps to have the packaging nearby so you can see what it's supposed to look like when it's all folded together. Um, that definitely helps when you are assembling this banner. So after you have it all folded together, it should look exactly like the image that's on the front of the packaging. So then you turn it over and on the back side, you can add a little bit of color. That's really going to uh, accentuate the shading and show that it's three-dimensional. So I like to just fold it together once, figure out which side is the back, and then unfold it and use a blending tool to add some color. And I use Antique Linen Distress Ink for that. Now I'm using the Happy Stamp Set. This is another new stamp set to the Simon Says Stamp Store. And I'm just using uh, the Happy on the top of the banner. And then what I, what I kept doing was folding the banner so I could reference which panel needed stamping. And until you're really familiar with these banners, you're probably going to want to do that just to make sure that you're stamping on the right panel because it wouldn't do any good to stamp on the back. So I just have it say happy birthday and then I'm gonna fold it together so you can kind of see what it looks like. And I've left a spot for a little heart that I'll add later. So now I'm gonna work on the background of the card. I'm gonna be using some watercolor paper and doing that like water spritz distress ink technique that I love. So first I put down shabby shutters and then squeeze lemonade and now peacock feathers and I'm just pouncing it on some different areas on the craft sheet. Then I took a mister bottle that has water in it and just spritz that down until I saw a lot of the ink kind of beating up. You really want it to be wet. Pressing the watercolor paper down onto that wet ink really squ squishing it down and you wanna kinda of wiggle it a little bit, that's gonna get those colors mixing and melding. And then lift up, and it's gonna be super, super wet, so you're gonna to want to set it down somewhere to dry or just use a heat tool. I like to use a heat tool because it's a little bit faster. You do get a, different, a little bit of a different look when you use a heat tool, but still looks really nice. So after it's completely dry, <clears throat> I pounced it back into those little water droplets that were left over. And the, but at this point, the ink colors have kind of mixed a little bit and I'm getting a little bit more of a grass green, really, really fun colors. So I'm just pouncing that in and trying to get little spots kind of all over. And you could, in order to do this and have it look good, you kind of have to practice a few times. This is actually the second time that I did this for this card. The first one got a little bit too muddy. So don't be discouraged if you try it once and it's too muddy for your taste. Go ahead and try it again. It's definitely something that you have no control over, so it's completely an accident if it comes out perfect on the first try. So I have uh, some Nina Solar White cardstock here and I've cut and folded it and scored it to be a standard size card. And I'm just using a bunch of adhesive on the back of that watercolor paper to adhere that directly to the front of the card. And you're gonna to wanna to use a lot of adhesive on this because watercolor paper tends to warp a little bit when it's drying and things like that. So if it's really, really wonky, you might want to like iron it with like a iron with no uh, steam and put a paper in between the, the watercolor paper and your iron. So now I'm using that full card hexagon die and I just put little droplets of uh, glue on the center area and then I went around the entire border. And I'm not really even squeezing the bottle of glue too much because this glue tends to want to come out on its own. So I sort of don't squeeze it too much while I do that. I just let it touch little areas on the die, on the die cut. And then it puts out just enough glue to glue down the die cut to the front of the card. So I really wanted a lot of that background color to show through and I thought this die would be perfect to add a little bit of detail but still show that what fun, really fun watercoloring technique through that pattern. So I really love how that turned out. 
So now I'm going to take the banner that I've prepped earlier and stamped, and I'm going to be adhering it down onto the front of the card. I'm just going to use a little bit of foam adhesive. I put foam squares behind that center panel, and then I cut a foam square in half and put each half on the two tails of the banner. I then put, put it on the card, but I didn't press it down too far because I really wanted to be able to uh, move it a little bit, so I didn't press it down. And the heart that I was talking about earlier that I was going to be adding to the to the left of birthday, I just used some peacock feathers ink and put that directly on some Nina Solarite cardstock, dried it with a heat tool because it is kind of a wet ink, and then I punched out a heart using the Punch Bunch Small Heart Punch. And I adhered that with a foam square and then coated it with Ranger Glossy Accents. I love coating little hearts like this with glossy accents or glitter because it's just the perfect little embellishment. I added a little bit of black dashed lines with a Copic multi-liner. This is a 0.3 multi-liner. Just added that to the banner. And then that finishes the card. Hope you guys enjoyed today. And I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.